magical heartstrings touches. Allow me to present your new grand duchess. Should she offend, you'll graciously excuse her and kindly recollect I didn't choose her. <laughs> The outset I may mention it's my sovereign intention to revive the classic memories of Athens at its best. For the company possesses all the necessary dresses, and a course of quiet cramming will supply us with the rest. We've a choir hypochromatic that is badly operatic, who respond to the karute of that cultivated age. And a clever chorus master, all but captious criticaster, would accept as the corrigus of the early attic stage. And this return to plastic ages is considered in their wages, which are always calculated by the day or by the week. And I'll pay him if they'll back me, all in overloy and crack me. Which they'll get if they prefer it at the talents that are Greek. At this juncture, I may mention that this erudition sham is but classical pretension, the result of steady cram. There are plastic methods spurning to this audience discerning. I admit the show of burning is the fruit of steady cram. The period Socratic, every dining room was attic, which suggests an architecture of a topsy-turvy kind. Then they'd satisfy the thirst on our recherche called a rustan, which is what they call their lunch, and so may you if you're inclined. As they grab your worldly god on a trapistic person's cotton, which is attic for a steady and a conscientious drink. But they mix their wine with water, which I'm sure they didn't alter, and we modern Saxons know a trick worth two of that, I think. And then came rather risky dances under certain circumstances, which would shock that worthy gentleman, the license of a plays called a bantam maniac kick. A Dionysiac or bat kick. <laughs> and the diplomatic rambles of those undecorous days. And perhaps I better mention, lest alarming you I am, that it isn't our intention to perform a dithyram. It displays a lot of stocking, which is always very shocking. And of course, I'm only mocking at the prevalence of cram. It displays a lot of shocking, which is always Yes, on the reconsideration, there are customs of that nation which are not in strict accordance with the habits of our day. And when I come to codify their rules, I mean to modify, or Mrs. Grundy perhaps may have a word or two to say. For they hadn't Macintoshes or umbrellas or galoshes, and a shower with their dresses must have played the very deuce. And it must have been unpleasing when they caught a fit of sneezing, for it seems of pocket handkerchiefs they didn't know the use. They wore little underclothing, scarcely anything or no thing, and their dress of cohen silk was quite transparent in design. Well, in fact, in summer weather, Something like the all together. And it's there I rather fancy I shall have to draw the line. And again, I wish to mention that this erudition sham is but classical pretension, the result of steady cram. Yet my classic lord aggressive, we feel pardon the possessive, is exceedingly impressive when you're passing an exam. Yes, it's classic lord aggressive. In 